welcome back to What's the Four and One. Now we welcome our book editor, LeVar Robeson. Thank welcome. you. Hi. Thank you, guys. Thanks I'm really happy us. to be here, especially because we're in March and it's Women's History Month, as you mm -hmm. know. Lots of women-inspired events going on, and I'm really happy to say that What's the 411 nabbed an interview with screenwriter and writer Julie Dash. Nice. She is amazing. It was Daughters yeah, of the Dust. And I was hanging out in Harlem at the new Madiba restaurant. You may know the Madiba in Brooklyn. Well, this yeah. is Madiba Harlem. It just opened. And at Mist, which has its own studios. So that's where the screening of Daughters of the Dust was held. And Julie Dash granted us this interview. It was amazing. This was a woman just 23 years ago, mm -hmm. the first African-American to have a general theatrical release in the United States. Wow. wow. Isn't that something? Yeah, that is great. great. So, Isn't that something? Well, so anyway, late. it was an amazing, <laughs> amazing evening because Daughters of the Dust, as you may well remember, because uh, I saw it originally, it's just as powerful as it was when mm -hmm. I first saw it 20-something years ago. It's just the most beautifully choreographed and, and cinematography the movie is just amazing. And we were in this studios, and you could get your food, order your drinks, and then come back into this plush, beautiful theater right there in the heart of Harlem and watch this amazing movie. And then afterwards, Julie Dash did a Q&A. So that was really great to get some insights on how it was set in the Gullah right. Islands off North Carolina and how it was like isolated. And it's a story about women, very women-focused, Women's History Month, March, and how these women as a group came together and relied on the family tradition. So there was a conflict between whether they would stay, the mm -hmm. whole family would stay on the Guller Island, or leave and go on to the regular mainland of the United States. So you saw that tension between keep tradition or go off and start a new life. Mm -hmm. So it was really powerful. So I highly so, recommend it that wow. you can get the book um, that Julie Dash wrote 20-something um, years ago, right. and it's called Daughters of the Dust. So also, still playing on Netflix, so check out the movie, Daughters of the Dust, enjoying just as powerful as it was 20-something years ago. That's make great. sure to see it, make sure to read it. Nice. Yeah, okay, I will definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, LaVon. So coming up next, we will tell you who we are calling on the carpet this week. Keep it where you got it. What's the 411 for entertainment news? What's the 411 